right? So, and this is based on my personal experience, friends. Definitely, I will share with you that. But before that, one big question to you. Have you ever, by looking at the screen, experienced this thing? You've gone to the market and you're just wondering, which should I pick up? Definitely, you must have gone through this phase. And it's like a routine for us. Unless and until we are typically known about which thing which we have to take. Now, if I will ask again a question and anybody can just take it. What makes to choose a particular brand out of the given choices for you? Anybody can just give me answer, quick answer. I know it's a virtual platform. It's difficult to actually have that kind of interaction, which I was expecting. But just maybe I may ask to my evaluator only. So, Toastmaster Rohan, what makes you to choose something from the given choices for you and specifically for the brand? Sometimes attractive packing. Well, so packaging is one of the feature you prefer to choose based on color. Okay. If you see red color is more attractive and people get attracted. So if you see most mm -hmm. uh, branded, branded companies, they uh, keep their packaging with red color. So based on uh, color you choose. Our requirement but, and if we know the company, uh, mm -hmm. you know, if we have the habit of buying from one company, we keep on repeating to, to buy from the same company once we know that it's the quality. Okay, great. But again, the question remains, if you want specific ingredient, for example, soap, you want to purchase a soap. Okay, so based on color, so is it that based on a color you purchase a soap or based on like packaging you purchase a soap? Again, question remains. Based upon that... the X factor, what, is it pardon? based on the X factor, like the special, what what makes it more special than the other soaps? Perfect, Toastmaster Swati, that's what I was actually looking for an answer. You know, now whenever it's a time to choose a brand from the given choices, it's always and always, apart from those external things, we go with the thing which is probably having something into it which we require necessarily having the qualities necessarily having that our experience with that thing so that's make a brand right but now something i would like to move your attention to look at the crowd or crowd in this picture a crowd full of people and Imagine this crowd is not a simple crowd. This is a crowd necessarily of the professionals who are probably going to be hired, who are probably going to be chosen by their employers. So now, what will make that employer to choose somebody from that crowd? That's the big question. And I think there is a quick, again, answer to that. The employer will definitely look something out of that crowd, which is having some kind of, of course, the physical matters, but apart from physical, something. And uh, one thing which we could uh, very obviously look uh, into, uh, one of the candidates in the middle of this picture, who is a bit confident in his way, he's a bit confident about probably for which he's going for, right? So that's my point, and this brings about my next aspect, that the personal brand, making your personal brand and branding is something actually the need of power. Because as you know, we are living in the era of competition. We are living in the era of utter crowd. May it be any sector, may it be any crowd. So, the personal branding is something which I thought is actually to be spoken about, is something to be learned and understood and to be explored. 
and that's the thing in again we are going to talk about so defining personal brand what exactly it mean so if i will ask you this next question very next question what do you think or what is your way of defining the personal branding again at least uh, one uh, person from the audience can just answer this what do you think what do you mean by personal branding that's my question <clears throat> Toastmaster Rohan, would you like to take it? What do you think about the personal branding or your way of defining it? Personal branding basically is marketing yourself. What Perfect. are your good qualities, putting forward your good, good qualities, how confident you are. That's it. Yeah. Any, any, any more uh, attempt by anybody to define? Yeah, I your answer that... is almost correct. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that personal marketing is uh, something related to showcasing your skills, expertise, values towards others so you attain attention and money in return. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Toastmaster Abhishek. So again, a nice answer. So personal branding is something, the way which we taken in the beginning, that out of the available choices from the market, various Probably the brands are there. If I want to choose a soap, then I will have a lot of soaps in front of me. But which soap I will uh, take and go ahead. And that also is applicable when it comes to your personal branding. So the things based on your personal qualities or experiences which you can put in front of your crowd or in front of you, you, you may take it as society, it may take at your professional level, or you, you may take at your personal level. That's the personal branding. But in simpler terms, personal branding is nothing but a unique combination of the qualities and the experiences that make you who you are. Right? So whatever you are putting across on the table, let it be about the qualities or about your experiences, which uniquely define you, which make you who you are. And that's the personal branding. And now it again goes ahead with two pertinent questions. Now, why actually it is I'm, I'm, I'm just continuously talking about this personal branding and started with the branding, the, the meaning of branding and everything. But is it really important or why it is so much important? Definitely, I personally feel it so much important and that's why I'm trying to share this particular fact in front of you. But again, let's try to understand why it's really important. So you can see there are a lot of reasons. It's not only a single reason. There is no two, three, three or four, five reasons. I put just few of the key reasons why it is important, why me, myself, has to put my qualities and my experiences in front of the crowd. Why? There are multiple reasons. <clears throat> the most important which I feel is the building the trust, which is taking the center point of these reasons. So putting my trust, Again, when it comes to my necessarily at the professional level, unless and until I will not having my personal branding. So how my maybe higher management, how my colleagues or maybe across the industry, how the people will know me. Based on this, my personal branding, there will be necessarily a trust and then it will be followed by the connections. I can build up the connections through my personal branding. The network, I think that is nothing to mention about that. Growth is the outcome. Growth is the ultimate outcome of your personal branding. And that's why you have to do the personal branding, right? And here again, I'm necessarily talking about your professional growth. So when uh, somebody is having his own personal branding, in his professional journey, he's definitely going to excel. You will stand out of the crowd with a lot of credibility and the confidence 
in you will be something remarkable when you will be having the personal branding people will know you based on your way of putting them in front of you your qualities and experiences and your connections and network will ultimately take care right so here before going to the next thing let me share my personal story with you it was almost 2 years back <clears throat> i was completely unaware about such thing like a person find day almost 2 years back my manager called me in his cabin and he asked me have you ever listened about linkedin i said linkedin i heard some somewhere but probably i don't have any account over there i have not gone there or probably explored it so he given me a single advice to me see then don't you think that the way you are doing your job currently there are hundreds of people in this world they are also doing the same job just like you whatever you are doing but if you really want to take the next level you want to grow in your profession so unless and until you brand yourself unless and until you do something extra from your colleagues or maybe from the crowd you will not be recognized nothing will change unless you change the known fact and that's why this personal branding is something like doing extra to achieve all those reasons which are mentioned in this slide so doing something extra and that is working on yourself is the key for such personal branding and that's why it's very important to understand how this can be done okay and here again i am going to share my personal story here that when i learned about this the, the need for such thing like personal brand branding then i actually started working on that i build up one framework which i am going to share with you but the best way to develop your personal brand is actually the first and most important to identify the domain the area of interest or the thing which you really like to explore upon or probably simply it could be whatever you are into a particular profession understanding that you can take it ahead with particular kind of framework which i am going to share with you this is nothing but a framework building your personal brand so building your personal brand with the authenticity be yourself the most important aspect while building on your brand so friends nobody will trust you on your maybe manipulated information or whatever you will be putting across the society which may be just manipulated so my point here when i say authenticity when it comes to personal brand so put whatever actually you are that is the first and foremost important mantra so here i will call it as a abc and this is the a of building your personal brand that is a so b is about building or working on your value proposition as i mentioned after understanding which domain you want to explore which thing you want to really work upon or what really makes you stand out of the crowd and you are the only one who knows actually which thing you are into the best what makes or what can make you stand out of the crowd and that you can actually start developing on that what unique value do you bring to the table right? because i assume and it's not only as a question it's a hard core fact every human is a unique and that uniqueness is not only in terms of his visibility but also in terms of his creation so what uniquely you can create what uniquely out of the crowd you can stand out that is the second thing b and c stands for the consistency 
So nothing will happen without the consistency. So let it be anything in the world and same holds true while building your personal brand. So in the journey of building your personal brand, you should be very consistent. And that is the key, whether it's in your online presence, networking, or everyday interactions, right? So because those are the channels of making your personal brand, making visibility, you should be consistent. There should be maybe a smaller steps taken on a single day, but let it be consistent. So A for authenticity, B for building your value proposition, and C for consistency. These are the three pillars of building your personal brand, right? So with that understanding, now the actual framework, what is the call for action for us? PEI framework. So what is this PEI? P stands for progress. What it is, I will again explore on that. But progress is something which is something related to uh, your personal brand journey. Then express and I stands for invest. Progress, express, and invest. Again, these are the three, actually the steps. These are the three steps on which you need to work upon in order to finally build up your personal brand and avail all those benefits out of that personal branding. Which are those? So progress. Here, <clears throat> do you think it is possible that you can build up your own personal brand without knowing or without knowing anything about that particular domain. Is it possible? Definitely not. So the first step of actually taking it ahead of your personal branding, progress means what? You have to work on yourself in terms of acquiring the knowledge, the in-depth knowledge and being the expert in that field is very, very important. So probably you are working in a particular area. Let it be software. Probably let's take an example of software. You are working on a particular software project. So can you be a person who actually progressed in terms of the knowledge of that particular software and who knows each and every detail in depth about that software, right? So that is the first thing, friend, uh, colleagues, that progress is the first step where the knowledge and being the icon of the domain will make you out of the crowd, out of the crowd and as a personal brand. And ultimately, when it comes to, and it should be, rather than it comes to, it should be the thing, when somebody want to hire somebody who is expert into that particular software, then you should be the person chosen without any further thoughts, right? And that is the progress you, you should work on. And of course, on a continuous manner, you should go on tiny increments. Now, express. So after knowing that fact, you are well known about that particular domain, you know about that software. But what if you know everything, but you just remain seated, you're not going anywhere. You're not sharing with anybody. You're not talking with anybody. You're not communicating with anybody. You're simply knowing it. So does it suffice the purpose? So that's why the very next step in the procedure of this personal branding is expressing it, right? So after progressing, after knowing everything, being the expert in that field, Next step should be expressing it in front of the crowd. So which are the ways by which you can express it? So there are a number of channels, various channels, maybe it are online, maybe it are offline or whatever, because we are living in a digital era. And I think expressing yourself should not be the barrier. If you are like expert in the field, so any channel, let it be YouTube, let it be Insta, let it be Twitter or whatever, maybe in a written way, maybe in a, a spoken way, you can express yourself to build up your brand so that people should let you know 
if you want to listen something about that software, then he is the person who knows each and everything. So that expression makes your brand and you'll be successful in that regard. Right? So sharing your knowledge, which you acquired in your first step, expressing it makes it a very, very crucial. And the third thing in this process of personal branding, invest. Now, acquiring knowledge, expressing it, that's sufficient. No, it's not sufficient. The very next thing is actually, as I already mentioned, consistency is the key. You should keep it actually intact. The knowledge should be in a growing manner. The expression should be in a growing manner. And that's why you need to invest. You need to invest on various aspects again. But the key things which necessarily you should invest, not necessarily, but I feel can be the best things. The first thing, as everybody knows, Reading, reading, reading. So reading makes you again like the champ you into that particular domain. So reading something pertaining to that domain, learning continuously again, that investment in terms of learning makes you the brand. Attending the clubs like the Toastmaster Club, what currently we are doing is one of the again the kind of investment which we are doing necessarily uh, when it comes to our brand. Then comes a very uh, great idea. Again, for those who are professional, they do have their business card with them. They do have probably the cards by their own organizations. But the idea which I would like to put in front of you is that students, if there, there are students in this crowd, they can definitely think for framing your own card Probably you're not somebody currently as a professional, but still you can make a simple card of you, your name, what actually you're doing and what you're good at. At least you can have that kind of card with you and that can be the investment on yourself. And that always can be a step towards building your personal brand, right? Then there are few other things which I would like to share with you in my this concluding remark. Building a personal brand is an ongoing journey. It's not a single step. It's not like what I mentioned you, the multiple steps, but three necessary steps, which I mentioned. This journey has to be achieved necessarily with that PEI training. You should be acquiring the necessary knowledge. The progress has to be made. There is no alternative to that. The next, which I mentioned, Expressing yourself. Your knowledge will remain just a knowledge unless and until it is shared in front of the crowd. And last but not least, continuously you should be investing on it by attending maybe the clubs like this or maybe by reading, maybe by updating yourselves or maybe by putting. Also, there is one great idea. You can also may make your own logo on that card so that people may remember you probably based, based on that. So that's something like an ideation, my point of view. Then it's all about carving out a niche where you are unique and your unique talents and insights. The very well said statement just before that, you are unique as a person. And carving out of that person, a particular segment, a particular area where you are actually unique and putting that unique talent and insight will ultimately make you as a brand, as a personal brand, right? Then whether you are just starting or you are well on your way, the key in this personal branding is to be authentic, consistent, and open to learn and evolving, right? So your personal brand story should be highly authentic with your consistency and your openness, right? So your personal brand is a powerful testament to your professional journey. 
maybe you are actually professional currently working at somewhere or maybe you are a student and want to explore your professional journey your personal brand is something that will take you ahead take you ahead in your journey and to make you a grown person right so based on these all known facts and like knowing about this thing still don't you want to make your own story a worth telling your personal brand should be your personal story based on all those steps which i mentioned in order to achieve that outcome necessarily which talks about building the trust building the credibility building the connections building the network and ultimately achieving the growth and make you stand out of the crowd so with those things my appeal to all of you is that embrace your uniqueness i repeat embrace your uniqueness and celebrate what sets you apart from the crowd celebrate what sets you apart from the crowd and with that particular appeal my final take home or take away for all of you is that please craft your signature the signature i mean reflect on your professional journey or maybe personal journey put out your unique pointers build up your story based on that paper and be uniquely you so with that note i would like to stop here and if time permits we will go ahead and take maybe any questions or have the interactions and i will hand it over to postmaster of the day but before that any questions if time permits If anybody would like to just yeah, Toastmaster uh, Rohan. Ah, uh, Toastmaster Deep. So I have a question on invest. You had your own framework on uh, progress, express, and invest. In invest, you had three things: that is books, club, and card. i understood about books and card but how do you go with club how do we invest in the club can you just explain that correct so your club as i already given the example like toastmaster club but upper, so your club necessarily i am going to actually put a point towards the domain where you are working or wherever whatever you are let's try to attend the conferences the meetings and maybe the uh, the programs i mean to say so whenever you are getting an opportunity to attend something to or something which is relevant to your area of interest or thing where you are uh, actually looking for right so that club means that you should be that much active to invest on attending the conferences maybe the meetings or the seminars or webinars so that is the meaning and that is the true investment because i personally feel by attending the conferences or maybe such scientific or maybe kind of meetings you will be definitely taking the insights which is probably you have not heard before which you have not probably explored before or thought before so right so that is the investment in terms of the club i mean to say Yeah. Thank if you. again time permits, I couldn't say the uh, actually the red card. I mean this uh, cards, color cards, timing cards. But still, if it is there, uh, we can take the questions. One or two questions. Hello. Yes, Grammarian. Yeah. Abhishek. 
yeah thank you thank you for a lovely speech overall i just had a one uh, doubt to clear out that uh, you talked about <clears throat> investing in a card for the students as well can you just specify how can i make my card useful for everyone how can i invest in the card as a student exactly more like so abhishek abhishek so thing is that currently you are a student and there are hundreds of students so you can come up with something like a innovative idea where you can just have your card where your name is written and what you currently uh, you are having so probably that may be a door for your like internship in the way ahead maybe some employer may point out that and just think how active this person is that and that is my meaning right so i think that's time off and uh, that's all about uh, my topic and interaction thank you over to toastmaster of the day thank you thank you toastmaster deep for that insightful speech i am sure now many people would be understanding the importance of crafting their signature and the way they present themselves through their personal branding thanks for those insights now before we get on to our education section it's time for the quiz pull up your socks now the next question goes this way which war based movie starring vicky kaushal fetched him a national award the time starts now puri 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 yes who answered it first see my me 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 <laughs> okay <laughs> i'll just note it down that it's rohan for the next question okay now the next question goes this way we'll have two more questions after that we'll go with the education session this question is like which movie based on the cross border love story had a sequel released in 2023 refuse gadar gadar to <laughs> gadar yes before that who answered i heard rohan before that who answered i, I answered gadar to i told gadar to gadar was released <laughs> was it was to uh, said by abhishek uh, varma yeah yeah please give it to me those must <laughs> rohan already have got one <laughs> okay with your mutual understanding no problem <laughs> i'll give it to abhishek just give me a minute yeah complete movie name was uh, told by abhishek varma so yeah yeah kada to no problem right okay now let's take one more question before we get to the education session this is really going to be faster so be fast this question is fill in the blanks dash the hero hero the forgotten hero <laughs> no no <laughs> good sense of humor but answer is something else actually mangal pandey no mangal think think bhagat singh no if you need a hint i can give you a hint we just celebrated his jayanti this month it's the month is no, not yet over jan netaji subhachandra bose yes that's mayur right yes <laughs> that's great it was yes uh, netaji subhachandra bose the forgotten <laughs> hero that was the movie okay let me note it here okay great then we are done with four questions we have seven more questions so the excitement continues and it continues to build up so now i will pass on the baton to our vice president of public relations sir ever energetic toastmaster abhishek negi to have his education session i am not going to disclose the topic because he is an expert in that and he will be the best person to educate us about that so and the time limit is i suppose it's 15 to 20 minutes as per the agenda so it, for the timer the instructions are like green at 15 then at 17 or 18 you can show yellow and at 20 it could be red so over to you abhishek okay thank you so much wishing to sansa mindal uh, i although we are uh, you know delay in time but i will try my best to be on the time or maybe close to it definitely i cannot be on the time but uh, i will try my best to be close on it 
Okay, so hello everyone. I'm obviously going to give the vice president of public relations and of Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest. Now today I will be talking about five different topic. First is our newsletter. Newsletter something is something that we are already expert in. We have been publishing it for every year, but this time there will be something different. We our because our focus should be learning, right? We should gain knowledge from others. We should gain knowledge from the information that are already there. So we will be first of all talking about the newsletter. Second. Well, there are four new initiatives by the Vice President of Public Relations Desk. Well, today Toastmaster they talk a lot about personal branding. Well, in this four initiative will help you a lot in improving your personal branding in how to express yourself in publicize in different platform. I hope you are already started getting what is the idea behind it. So let us first go ahead with talking about the newsletter. So why do we work on the newsletter? What is the objective behind working of the newsletter? Well, in the Toastmaster, our objective, our objective is to improve our communication and leadership skills. For leadership skills, we have various roles like our our uh, Toastmaster of the day, the team Minel. Yeah, she is the she is the leader for today's meeting. Similarly, we have our president. Similarly, we have so many role players playing different role. Our general evaluator. We have so many opportunity for playing the leadership role. Similarly, to improve our communication. Well, communication is four part. LSRW: listening, speaking, reading, writing. For speaking, speaking and listening, we have lot of opportunity. Like right now, I'm speaking in the Toastmaster. You give speeches, and uh, similarly, we take the role of evaluator or our counter grammarian. So many roles you improve your listening skill at the same time speaking skill. But in this newsletter, it will help you to improve your reading and writing skill. How is that so? Well, in the newsletter, you will get a chance to publish article. You will be modifying these articles in order to appeal to the audience. But it is not just the, just like writing some uh, public speaking message because when we write for the public speaking we have the ability to modify our voice our gesture and so many different ways to capture the and um, capture the attention of the audience whereas in the writing we have to be much more subtle we have to think about what is the how i can make it much more interesting so that audience or people would want to read at the same time you it will also give you chance to uh, you know read and understand there will be role like proofreader and so many things so this is the basic of the newsletter and the, the newsletter we have been publishing for years let me show you some sample and newsletter is not something that is done by our club itself it is also done by the toastmaster international our district let me know once you are able to see my screen not visible okay yeah now now it's visible uh what can you see his screen no now your screen screen is visible okay uh which screen can you see uh some newsletter i can see oh, elizabeth great. written over there yes okay great okay so this is the newsletter of uh, january 2024 by the toastmaster international this is the magazine they they publish every year every month i would say so uh, you can see that we we have the topic there will be so many articles uh, written on it and you can see there is a specific format uh, there is a specific uh, you know way of writing the text format is uh, the, the text format uh, the color format they are specific but still they are very well organized at the same time the information it is very learning i mean you can just go through it and you can learn a lot uh for example what is the 4p of uh, effective meeting how to elevate your emails and so many ways so that you can improve yourself and your public speaking so you can go through it and this is the article or newsletter that rosmaster international publishes for all of us so that we can improve similarly for the district let me show you the quarter fold uh, newsletter when our uh, district got the smedley district uh, district uh, distinguished uh, district award and this is the newsletter that is published by our district 125 and if you can see all our leaders are there uh, the theme is there and you can see who is the editor of our newsletter district newsletter our own dtm minel 
you can see district director address and also so many points to learn. Similarly, for our club, we have been publishing newsletter. This is the newsletter that was published last year. Along with information by our uh, district official and our members, we have also some achievements shared here. What are the achievements of our club? Toastmaster got talent. So you get the point. In the newsletter, we have the opportunity to share all of our achievements. Even we are able, we can brand our club, we can brand ourselves, we can share information, we can write. If you have any achievement, you can share it to other members. There is so many things that you can do. And this is why the Toastmaster is Toastmaster uh, newsletter is very important. Now, how does it work? First thing is that we create a newsletter committee. And in the group, you must have already seen that there is a post for the nomination for the newsletter chair. Now, in the Toastmaster, definitely we, we get the chance to improve our leadership skills. In the XCOM, this is a great opportunity because in the XCOM, we work in a team and we improve. But this opportunity, every, every member should get this opportunity, right? Once the election is done, well, that window is closed till next six months. But we, don't, we do not want that. We want everyone to get this opportunity always. That's why the newsletter is another effort. In the newsletter, you can lead a team. You can work together. You can support each other to create this fantastic newsletter for our club. There will be four different sections or four, so five different roles. The newsletter chair, the data gathering team, designer, editor, and proofreader. Now the window is open for the newsletter chair. As a newsletter chair, you will be planning how to create the newsletter, how your team structure will be, when will the deadline should be, and you also will be leading the entire team, supporting them each and every incident. And this skill will help you in the world going forward, whether you are taking some leadership role in our club or in your organization or in your personal life. So this is the first thing that uh, first announcement that I have. And before going ahead with this, let me call our previous newsletter chair, Toastmaster Incia. Hello. Thank you, Toastmaster Abhishek for giving me that opportunity. Toastmaster of the day, president, fellow Toastmasters, and everybody, a very good afternoon. Okay, so uh, Toastmaster Abhishek has really mentioned it really well that how newsletter actually teaches you a lot. Uh, so let me begin with my journey as a newsletter chair. So initially when I was asked to become the newsletter chair, so I was also very hesitant because I didn't know how things were going to work and I've never led a team likewise but uh, I had my mentor who pushed me he's like you should do it and you should think of it as an opportunity and you will learn great things after doing this and I would really like to thank him for actually pushing me to take that role uh, yes I will not say that it is very easy but I will just tell you one thing that it is going to make you learn a lot and a lot of things. Uh, as a newsletter chair, you the, only, the main thing that I have learned is that how you need to agree with your teammates on a particular thing, which is, uh, which is, which was I think a difficult task for me because I always was this person who had strong opinions. Uh, but when you are a newsletter chair, you also need to uh, make sure that the team is with you in this together. And I think uh, I learned that. I learned how it is very uh, important. And you know what? With this newsletter, I also saw that there were so many people who were so creative. Their creative side uh, was hidden <laughs> so that creative side I could see that came up in the newsletter so uh, as a newsletter uh, chair I enjoyed it I learned a lot of things that excitement of making the whole newsletter and then publishing the newsletter uh, was of another level and when you get that kind of appreciation from everybody and whoever 
the newsletter chair is going to be i would just like to tell you that you have some really some mind blowing people that is going to help you like toastmaster abhishek toastmaster chandrasekhar uh distinguished toastmaster mean a, a lot of people who are going to always be there for your support so it's never like that you you are not going to be guided so i to would like I wish that you get a lot of uh, nominations for that, so that it's difficult for you to choose who you want, like who the newsletter chair should be. So, I think everybody should try once to become the newsletter chair. It's an amazing feeling to be. Thank you. I'm back to you, Toastmaster Abhishek. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Insia, for sharing your experience. And uh, I would say it was a wonderful newsletter that you had published. Your entire Thank team you. has published. Uh, Thank it you. was very interesting read, and the articles were amazing. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. And also, yeah, as uh, Toastmaster Insia informed, please do nominate for this role. It will be a very wonderful experience, and it will push your conference to the skies. Moving on now. There is four new initiative by the DIS of Vice President of Public Relations. First initiative. The article that you will be writing here, it will not be just confined to the newsletter itself. It will be shared to the world. Now, in this time, the newsletter article will be shared on the internet. Now we are thinking about uh, sharing it through the uh, LinkedIn platform so that everyone can read. Whoever search for the topic, they can go ahead and read it. So it will be there on the internet forever. And it can ha also help you for your personal branding. Always the information will be there. You can put it in some of your platform that, okay, I have written this article and uh, this you can learn from it. So this is the first initiative, sharing the article on the internet. It will be done by the club itself and we will be also promoting it from the club. Second initiative. Now, we not only just write. In the Toastmaster, we give so many speeches and share so many information. For example, Toastmaster Deep, he gave a wonderful speech today about personal branding. But we do not want that information to just go away. And if you think about it, we do have recording on the internet. But how many people go and watch those recordings? Very few, right? So there is the second initiative. In the second initiative, you will be able to share your recording in the, our YouTube channel. So what we have to do, you have to give speeches. And after that, you have to inform us that please share my speech on the internet. Now we will be cropping that part of your speech and sharing it for everyone. And also in this time, we will be branding and informing to everyone. It is our job to brand it and uh, you know to show it to everyone so that everyone will watch now it will not only help you for your branding but also it will help others to learn for example whatever your topic it is we'll be writing the topic whatever the speech title or the uh, what is the pathway manual everything will it will be there so it will be helpful for other toastmasters it will be helpful for people who want to learn from you and it will be helpful for you at the same time, I will be also that will be format from the Toastmaster from our club for the poster or you know the front page or I don't recall what is the name. But for that, that will be a poster by us. But if you want to have your own, then also you can create a poster and it will be uploaded on the uh, on the YouTube at the front page. So this is the second initiative. Your videos will be there on the internet. But how about if you are the Toastmaster of the day? or if you are performing some other role and you have your video segmented in different parts, well, for that also we have an option. Uh, for that, you have to do some work, like you can crop your video in smaller, smaller parts, combine them together and share it with us. We can upload it on the YouTube. Or if you want, then you can convert into an article format and share it with us. We'll be publishing that article in our LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is not specific. If you want uh, anyone has any other suggestion, then you can give because it's not just my club or your club, it's our club. All of us should, we should have seen in it, right? So this is the second initiative that is sharing our recording or our share information that we are sharing on the YouTube. Next is the VPPR team. As a VPPR, we have so many things that is planned for us in this particular term. 
and um, i am here learning it i am here exploring it uh, trying out so many different things but why should i why should this information be confined with one or two people why should not everyone in the team get this uh, experience so now i am extending the vice president of public relations team in this team you will be part of it you can share your own ideas if you have some new initiative you can share all of us will work together to make it a success this will be a wonderful experience for us to do experiments a wonderful experience for us to learn and this is not only open for members it is also open for the excom as well all excom all members always lexcom is also members but it is open for everyone whoever wants they can join this bppr team and here you can share information it will be just learning from each other so this is the third initiative bppr team and fourth initiative our district has something called toastmaster of the month in the toastmaster of the month every month we share one poster the best poster that we create we share it with the district and uh, one one the best poster from the each division get this award now even extend this forward to all the members now here is my here is the suggestion so going forward this toastmaster of the month it will not be open for me it will be open for everyone if in any meeting if you want to create a poster then you can do so you can create poster and share it with our share it with us and we can use that poster for the publicizing of next meeting or any of the event now for the fourth meeting or five meeting in a month we will be have the voting if we have received any nomination the best poster will be shared for the toastmaster of the month and you can also get a chance to win this award by the district to do your best you need to be on the brand guideline or uh, you have to follow the brand guideline if you want to understand about the brand guideline you can just go to the internet and you can just search toastmaster brand guidelines you can come across something called brand manual and yeah you can go through this document based on this document you can use either canva you can use powerpoint presentation or any of the design tool of your choice to create the poster share it with us we can use that poster for our next meeting and by the month if we have even one uh, poster by you then we will have the voting and the west poster will go for the toastmaster of the month nomination and you might also get a chance to win that award in our upcoming district conference so these are the four initiative and the newsletter let me repeat everything once again first is the opening for the newsletter this is a wonderful chance for you to improve your leadership and create something for the toastmaster second is articles you can write articles and you can share not only now not only for the newsletter but throughout this entire term and those newsletter will go on the internet third initiative is the video you can uh, you whatever speech that you have given whether it is speech whether it is table topics you can share the video you can ask us to share that video on the internet we will be copying that part and we'll be uploading on the youtube for everyone to see fourth is the vice president of public relations team you can be the bppr part of the bppr team to have our own initiative to experiment to learn to explore with all of us and the fifth is the opportunity to work, to be part of the toastmaster of the month you can create poster share it with us and be a part of it so this is all from my side uh, if you less have one minute for if anyone has any question or any point then it is open do anyone has any post, uh, point no if, okay if not then over to uh, distinct to swasam minal abhishek jay had something abhishek, to yeah. say Yeah, yes, Jay sir. had something to say. Yes. Yeah, Jay, you can go ahead. Yes, please, Mr. Jay. DTM Jay. So, actually, I have only two questions. Yes. First thing, 
do we have we decided the newsletter chair or not no no it is not yet decided uh, the nomination is still open okay so actually i want to nominate for the newsletter editor okay that will be wonderful yeah please consider that if possible Thank definitely you. definitely it was not suggested okay thanks toastmaster abhishek that was indeed wonderful in fact and the initiatives are fab i would say so i would urge everyone to participate in this wholeheartedly and believe me you are going to enjoy that very much in fact and going forward when you move beyond the club at the area level or at the division level at the district level this experience is going to count for sure abhishek will also agree with that and it's a fun all together learning with fun that's what we say na trust transparency fun that is the tagline of uh, district bhavan 25 that will be you will experience that in fact now before we move on to a short break let's take two more questions and here in let me give you a disclaimer that these are somewhat related to the old movies and we all belong to the new generation so even if you search on google i don't have any problem i am fine as long as you give me the right answer now the next question goes this way amitabh bachchan's debut movie was sath hindustani it was released in 1969 now my question is which movement was shown in that movie sath hindustani means for what thing were the sath hindustani is fighting your time starts now which was the base of that movie in fact it's a goa goa yeah. liberation uh before rohan did anyone say something no i just remember the goa only yeah liberated goa from the portuguese <laughs> okay then uh, goa was said first by jay right or uh, after first yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay it's based on the goa liberation struggle 1961 and on that basis the movie was based and i remember it uh, very clearly because my father had uh, narrated me incident by incident my grandfather leading that movement actually from the indian air force that was the reason okay i give this to jay it's just one minute let me mark it then we'll take the next question okay let's take one more question before we move forward forward okay this is also again from an old movie google search is fine which is the only movie based on the only war that india had lost to china in 1962 what is the name of that movie which was made on this in incident and it was in a way a tribute to our late prime minister nehru as well because it is said that he couldn't come out of that shock of loss to china and he passed away after that he never re recovered he passed away in his sleep in fact 1964 so you can tell me the name of that movie i know it's pretty old that's why i gave you the leave that you can go for a google search movie was released in 1962 that is the hint i can give you based on india china war it was something haqeeqat or someone in which dharmendra was also there yeah yeah dharmendra was there balraj sani was there correct yeah many old khato ko jalaya hoga so that i remember but haqeeqat or which one that i missed sorry are you are you doubtful about the name of the movie yeah i remember I the complete movie yeah nci you were saying something i think it's a geekat if i'm a geekat okay so jay what do you say should we give this to nci or you would like to take it <laughs> up to it you was a, if it, the name was haqeeqat or not that i'm more interested no <laughs> <laughs> Hakikat is the right answer, and <laughs> Insia actually, right answer, yeah. But give it to give it to Insia as his wedding anniversary gift. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's great. Oh, I'll mark it. I really uh, appreciate the feeling of cam camaraderie amongst all of us. Uh. That is the <laughs> strength of our club. Great. Now I have five more questions, and we'll take it after the bio break. let me see it's 12:30 pm right now let's assemble at 12:35 pm sharp we'll go with the next section and the next set of questions as well and before that i'll just show you that those what are the are every winner of the questions going to get this is the 
gift that each and every one of you will get. This is the Parker pen. Oh. Yeah. And here you will see here, this is written here, Toastmasters International. And here it is, Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest written here. Yeah. So all the 11 winners will get one pen each. So 11 pens for 11 winners. Whenever we meet in person, I'll make sure you get that. Whenever in the next we meet. So I have this entire bunch of these pens with me. I'll give it all with you. I'll just okay, be back. Before moving ahead. Uh... Okay. Now we have something interesting to test your impromptu speaking skills. And for that, we have an equally interesting Toastmaster, I would say. That whichever role you give her, she has to come up with something in a creative manner. With something which is not even thought of, of us, in the slightest of our dreams, in fact, I would say. So... It is my moral responsibility to morally introduce her so that we see how she bites the bullet of walking through each and every one for table topics. Over to you, Toastmaster Inzia. Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Meenal. A very good afternoon again to each and everybody. Now, uh, before starting, I'll just quickly tell you what table topic is as we all are Toastmasters. So we do know that table topic is where you develop your skills of impromptu speaking and you have to at least speak for two minutes. Like the minimum that you have to speak is for one minute and the maximum is for two minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, also, I would like everybody to make sure to use the word of the day model and the phrase of the day, bite the bullet, during the speeches that you're going to give. Now, so let me share my screen. Okay, can everybody see the screen? Is it visible? Uh, yes. Okay. So as you can see that there are letters given and these letters are from the topic Satya Meva Jayate. So the letters are of that sort. Uh, I'm going to call the, uh, the volunteer or the person who wants to attempt the table topic. That person has to choose one letter. Once the letter has chosen, after that, you, are, you will be given four to five words of that letter. For example, if you've chosen B, so the words would be ball, beach, bite, burger. So these are four to five letters, five, four to five words. And you have to make sure that the speech or the table topic speech that you're going to give in that speech, those words has to be there. That has to be part of your table topic speech. Clear? Is there any question if, the, if anybody is not understood please make sure that you're asking right now so that they to avoid any kind of confusion so first choose the letter and then you will be given some words related to that letter and you have to make sure that you incorporate that in your speech easy understandable okay so let us begin with distinguished toastmaster j Yeah, sure. Just a second. Yes. Am I visible? Yes, you are visible. So, oh. distinguished postmaster J, what's your letter? Could you please repeat the question? Okay, so you have to first choose the letter from okay. the given letters. And once you choose the letter... Yeah. You will J. be given, yes. J, you can take. J, okay. Okay, so can you see all the words given for the J? Journey. Yes. 
accident. So the words are journey, joy, jam, jacket, and jet. So these are the words that you're going to incorporate in your speech. So let me see the timer also. Perfect. <clears throat> Great. Let me share a very small incident, a short incident in 2013 when I was in Germany in my business journey. That was really definitely other joyful. But at the time, once I had completed my business trip and now I have to go back. But there was one really big issue with the home or apartment. What is that? Once you lock the door, you cannot open it by just pushing. You need a keys. And we were always afraid if you forget the keys inside, then we have to change entire lock. And it will take more than 500 euros at that time. So what we were used to do, we always keep the keys always with us. But before taking my jet back to home, what I thought, let me keep each and everything in my bag or on table. I did it fantastically. But to reduce the weight for my luggage, I kept few chocolates and few jam in my pocket, in the, my jacket. That was hanging inside the cupboard. And mistakenly, I forget it. I kept the keys on the table and just locked the door. And when I locked the door, I realized, oh my God, I missed my jacket in the cupboard. I tried to call the owner, but there were no any answer because he was also on a trip in Austria. No chance. I have to miss the jet or may I block the door or what should I do? I decided let's forget about the jacket and move to get my jet. I did the same. I came back to India and suddenly I got a call. Hey, your jacket is here. When you, whenever you visit Germany again, take it. And my friend, everything was same What where I left. Thank you. And that was the short trip, which was joyful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to distinguished Toastmaster Jay. I could see that um, almost all the words were used. So good job done on that part. Okay. Now, Toastmaster Mayur. Hello, Toastmaster Insia. Hello. So what is your letter? Just let me show you the letter so that it will be easy for you. Just a second. Okay. Where is this? Yes. What is your letter? Yes, I would like to go with M. M. Okay. So just a second. Sorry. M, M, M. So your words is meeting, mute, mistake, moral, mature. Thank you, Table Topic Master. As I started my journey since the COVID time and all the meetings were happening in a virtual mode. I used to attend meeting from start of before meeting, I used to join at least 15 minutes. And Surgeon at Arm was used to tell the instructions that please keep your devices on mute. And that was the trigger point. And I used to follow the instruction and I used to mute my phone. One day I joined late, 15 minutes later and already TMOD announced the general evaluator and I do not had the instructions 
So when speaker started his speech, I got a call from one of my friends and my phone started ringing. And that was my mistake and that impacted the speaker. The speaker got distracted. Everyone was started. The Zoom master, Toastmaster, Abhishek started noticing who is the one who is unmute and the device audio is coming from that device and I was the culprit. I had to bite the bullet. But I took the moral that ev for every single meeting, I will join at least five to 10 minutes. And also, if I'm joining any meeting, I will keep on checking my mobile phone, whether it is unmute or mute. That means whether it is silent or not. So now with this experience, I'm now mature enough. And we often say that mistakes are meant to rectify, but not to repeat. So I have rectified my mistakes. And from it's been one year that in any meeting, my mobile phone has not ring because also I make sure that I keep a double check. My device is mute and also my mobile phone is silent. Thank you. Back to Table Topic Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Mayur. I think indeed that was a mature decision that you made. Okay, now anybody else? I think we can take one more if the time allows. Yes. Anybody who would like to go for it? Toastmaster Abhishek, Toastmaster Rohan, maybe Abhishek, Varma, anybody? Yes. Yeah, uh, I will go. Next. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, Toastmaster Abhishek, what is your letter? Just a second. Sure. Hmm. Yes. So what is your letter? A. A. <laughs> okay. So your words are accident. Sorry. Just a second. Accident, animal, action, anger, act. So accident, animal, action, anger, act. Okay. Thank you so much Toastmaster Insia for uh, giving me this topic. Okay, so sometime back I was reading a book and I read, come across a wonderful story. The story went something like that. Once a tiger was roaming on the forest uh, with her kids, some of the kids. Now the problem was that the tiger didn't have anything to feed uh, her kid. And uh, as an animal, they need to hunt, they need to attack, they need to kill. To bite the bullet, she roam around to the entire place to search um, what is the, how to find the food. And while performing this action, the, okay, while performing this action, she came across a deer. The deer was just there standing in front of her with her own children. Now, to feed her children, the tiger, uh, the lion uh, attacked the, uh, attacked the entire bunch. Everyone ran away, but there was one kid. The kid, dear, it was very small and it could not run away. Now, uh, this is something that the dear's mother she, she saw and she got furious that uh, what is happening? My child is going to get killed. 
while the cog was running, it also fell down because of some accident and uh, it could not quickly take action or act to quickly take action to, uh, to, to save itself. So the mother deer, it came in front of the kid and supported the kid to run away. Now, this is the act that the lion, the, the, the lion saw and uh, she think to herself, what should I do? What is the right act to do? Is killing the deer, it is the right thing or feeding my kid? I am working so that my kid also will uh, get the chance to eat. Now this dear mother, it is also trying the same thing to save her own kid. But what is the moral thing to do? Well, that is the question that is that we need to ponder. Sometimes the morality or sometimes the act um, it might not be directly linked to what we think right or wrong, but we need to think deeper. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Abhishek. That was indeed a very nice story of morality. Okay, so with this, I think we'll stop the table topic session. But before moving ahead, I think uh, as a table topic master, I need to make sure that uh, everybody is learning something out of the table topics so the two important tips that i would like to give everybody so that you can use that in your next table topics is first remember the six honest serving men so rudyard kipling's six honest serving men what why when how where and who this is the perfect example of how you can trigger ideas in your mind and answer the table topic that has come to you and the second most important that I usually relate to and I usually use in my table topics is draw on your own experiences. Because when you draw from your own experiences, you never fumble. You know what you are speaking and that is going to make sure that you're delivering your table topic speech to the potential that you have. With this, I would like the control back to the Toastmaster of the day, and I hope everybody enjoyed this session. Thank you. Thank you, Table Topic Master, Toastmaster in CIAC. Yes, and you have been proving all of us right every time with your creativity. What a way to present the table topics. That's really great. Now, let's mm -hmm. take two more questions before we move on to the next section. This question goes this way. Which movie starring Ajay Devgan based on the life of a freedom fighter fetched him a national award. The time Mankar starts now. Pandey. That Bhagat did not Singh. scare Ajay Devgan. Bhagat Singh. Entire name. Entire name of the movie. <laughs> oh uh, Bhagat Singh. The Legend of Bhagat Singh. Uh, it, I said up was it. <laughs> I said. <laughs> okay, Swati will go ahead with that. Just Thank a minute. You. Let, me, let me mark it. Okay. Now this next is going to be really simple and I want the fastest finger first over there. Now this is, which girl is known as the Kargil girl? We had a movie also made of this. Huh? <laughs> Gunjan Saxena. Yes, yes, Gunjan Saxena. Was that in Sia? Yes. Okay. I mark it for you. Just one. It was not simple. <laughs> no, actually, it was one of the latest movies, and that's why I yes. said it might be yes. simple. Understood. That's why. Okay. Now, we have three more questions to go, but wait, Sabra Kafal Mita Hota hai. Now, let's get on to the evaluation part. For that, I would like to pass on the control to our general evaluator, Swati, for first the individual evaluation and then for her team and then her. Over to you, Swati. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you're audible now. Uh, so, first, let us go for the... Uh... Prepared speeches evaluation, and I would like to call upon the evaluator of the speaker, that is Rohit More, uh, Rohan More, to come ahead, uh, Toastmaster Rohan to come ahead and to present his evaluation. Over to you, Toastmaster Rohan. Uh, thank you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Swati. 
my target speaker gave a wonderful speech crafting your signature i felt like i was sitting in a marketing class of an mba it started well with a question how do you choose your brand then he went on how do the employers choose the choose their candidates from the crowd he answered it then came to the point on the personal branding again he asked the question how was the pers- what meant the personal branding he hooked the audience by asking the questions at different level it was a great effort by my target speaker toastmaster deep then he explained what exactly the brand personal branding is then he answered then he asked why we need the personal branding he gave the answers there were seven reasons why we should have our personal branding well done then how to do the personal branding so he answered all his questions why how and what then he prepared his own framework which is p e and i progress express and invest how do we build our personal branding was very well explained by toastmaster deep he also concluded well by giving by telling us what personal branding can bring to us what my target speaker could have done better he included his personal story where his boss called upon him and asked him about his linkedin account he could have played a dual role over there he could have played the role of the boss and with that his role his own role how he answered his boss question i thought that he overran the time he sh- he was too slow in <clears throat> his presentation he could have been a bit fast to finish it on time and give 5 minutes at least for q and a but overall his speech was a wonderful one i learned a lot from it he achieved the project so he achieved what his project has demanded it so thanks and kudos to you toastmaster deep for that wonderful speech we learned a lot from it but you need to improve on those two points over to you toastmaster swati thank you toastmaster rohan for that value added evaluation and now i would like to ask the timer like uh, because i think for the table topics also we missed it so toastmaster amaya do we uh, you can just you can uh, to save the time you can just tell if we had any disqualifications in the table topic session as well as if our evaluator toastmaster rohan uh, is well in time hello am i yeah, yeah uh only toastmaster deep has not qualified because he took 6 minutes more than the original time awarded mm-hmm. all others have qualified with grace period thank you so much toastmaster amia now we will move ahead as uh, described by our postmaster of the day dtm meenal we will move ahead with our further reportings so i would like to call upon our grammarian postmaster abhishek verma uh, to give us the grammarian report of the day over to you abhishek so is my uh, powerpoint presentation visible to everyone in the meeting yeah thank you Kudos for making this session a wonderful and joyful one as always. 
I believe it's a moral duty to, to use the word of the day and phrase of the day in a meeting because it is also a part of the meeting. And special thanks to Toastmaster India for including the word of the day and phrase of the day in her uh, table topic session as well. So every Toastmaster could bite the bullet and use it. So let's go off with the Toastmasters who has used the word of the day and phrase of the day. So the word of the day is used by Toastmaster Rohan, Toastmaster Abhishek, Toastmaster Day Minu, Toastmaster India, Toastmaster Mayur. The first of the day is used by Toastmaster of the day Meal, Toastmaster Insia, Toastmaster Mayur, and Toastmaster Abhishek. Can we have a big round of applause for them? Job well done. Let's come up with a good usage of English words and sayings quotes that I could find in the meeting. I have one whole uh, section for Toastmaster uh, of the day Meal. Such is her vocabulary and plethora of uh, language that she used. First, we have echoing the word, which means repeating the same idea to a bigger audience, triumph meaning greater achievement, annihilation, which means complete destruction, salvation, which means act of being saved from harm, agrarian, which is related to agriculture, off the curve, which means responding without preparation. All of these used by Toastmaster De Minal. Then we come with personal branding, a concept which was informed by our speaker of the day, Toastmaster Deep, which means having a unique combination of qualities and experience with then we come with the PEI framework, which was explained by Toastmaster D, which means progress, express, and invest. Suffice, a word used by Toastmaster D, which means being just enough for a particular purpose. A quote by Toastmaster D, which means stand out the crowd and embrace your uniqueness. Subtle, a word used by Toastmaster Abhishek, which means something which is distinct and unnoticeable. Incorporate, a word used by Toastmaster Insia, which means act of involving. Hope, a word used by Toastmaster Rohan, which means being captivated by something. Let's uh, come up with the grammar improvements that I could find. These are not actually grammar improvements, but are alternate words to a filler words and sounds that we use in our speeches. First, you know, we can use the alternate word like well or in other words. Um, uh, we can uh, uh, separate it with well, actually. Like, we can uh, use an alternate word like such as or as if. And there was an uh, inclusion of word like you have gone. It is used when you leave a place and you have been. It is used when you visit a place. So you can use an alternate word as basically, but you can alternate word can be however, and too slow, the alternate word can be sluggish or delayed. I'll be sharing the PowerPoint presentation in a PDF format in the in our groups. With this, I'd like to hand the stage back to the general director for the rest of the proceedings. Thank you so very much, Toastmaster Abhishek, for the detailed Grammarian report. Now we will move on to the Accounter report. So I would like to invite Toastmaster Nikhil to present the Accounter report. Thank you, uh, General Evaluator Toastmaster Swati. I'm back uh, with my report. So. Uh, Flawless speaker for today's meeting are DTM J and DTM Minal. So uh, can we have a uh, claps for them? And almost flawless speaker is uh, Toastmaster Rohan. So can we have a clap for him? Then let me uh, go through the detailed report. The timer Amya. She used one time um, one time aha. General evaluator Toastmaster Swati, she used five plus times aha. Evaluator Rohan, he used one time aha only. So he is, uh, that is why he is almost flawless speaker. Then speaker one deep, he used one time aha and uh, one time and and three times so. So his favorite word is so. I would recommend him to work on that. Uh, so he used a lot of so in his uh, speech. So he can work on that. Grammarian Abhishek, he used two times a. Uh. We had educational session from uh, Abhishek and he used uh, five times a. Uh. And Toast, uh, Table Topic Master in Sia, she used five plus times a uh, and one time so. Then 
that is uh, the end of my report. A couple of tips I would like to give. Uh, you can do, you can practice more and more. So you will not use filler sounds or filler words. And you can take pause while speaking. If you are thinking, if you are speaking faster than you're thinking, then uh, it will happen that you are using more ah uh, and um. So speak slow and practice more and you can get rid of these filler words. Thank you and get back to you. General Evaluator Toastmaster Swati. Thank you so very much, Toastmaster Nikhil. So now uh, let me go ahead by uh, role player by role player and give my quick feedback. First, let us go with someone who has started the meeting, that is Toastmaster Rohan, uh, the Sergeant at Arms for the day. He read out the rules really well. He started the meeting on the time and he greeted each and every one. And uh, he even gave a proper handover to the presiding officer and then he started off as a presiding officer. So job well done, Rohan, as the sergeant at arms. You read out the rules. That's why people were very crystal clear about the rules and they followed throughout the meetings. So kudos for maintaining that as a sergeant at arms. But there is one quick feedback from my end. Uh, when the guest introduction has come up, you said like, okay, no guest. That's great. So keep it in mind as a beginner speaker when guests, when we say like guests are not uh, guests are not there, we can just plainly say like, okay, let's move ahead instead of telling like good because it sound, uh, the sentence was not framed, right? Apart from that, a great job done. This is just an added uh, thing or else great job done as a Sergeant at Arms Toastmaster Rohan. And as a presiding officer, he stuck to the theme very properly and uh, he added his flavor to the theme. So job well done once again. So I would like all of you to give emojis and to give a great applause to all the role players as and when I'm going ahead. So a second role player, I would like to go with the Toastmaster of the day a little bit later. So let me just come ahead with the grammarian, that is Toastmaster Abhishek. Toastmaster Abhishek has done a great job. The word of the day, the phrase of the day were very, very simple. And each and every one of us could use it. And his report was very elaborative and very presentive. Uh, but there is one thing, like no need to take the names while reading out the report, because it again makes the people conscious, whether it is good or whether it is not so good usage, no need to take the names. He can plainly say like, these were the good words that have been used in the report and these were not so good words used in the report. And one thing which was missing in the grammarian role for a long time, that is a thumbs up rule, which like last time also when I was doing the general evaluator role, it was missed, but this time the grammarian remembered it and his report was fabulous and the, and the PPT that was prepared was really good. And I hope Toastmaster Abhishek will share it to us so that we can enhance our knowledge as well. And the tip that was given was very, very useful and it will be very, very helpful to all of us. So job well done, Toastmaster Abhishek again. So again, an applause from my end and kudos. Now next, let us go to Toastmaster Nikhil, our account for the day. Toastmaster Nikhil has a very elaborated report and uh, he, in fact, he had right pointers, the flawless speakers, the less flawless speakers, the almost flawless speakers, and those who have gone like more than five plus times, three plus times. So job well done, Nikhil, on a brief report. And mostly our counters don't give the tip of the meeting, but you came up with the tip of the meeting. So kudos for that, for bringing it up. And job well done. I have asked about the one recommendation which I could give you, like go in the cinematical order, like first the flawless speakers, then nearby or nearly flawless speakers, then who had made three plus times, then you had made five plus times. You can go in that order so that pe people can understand like how many mistakes they have done. And hope even you can share your report in the group so that we all are aware and uh, we will also be flawless speakers in the upcoming meetings. So thank you so much, Toastmaster Nikhil. And next we'll go ahead with our timer. Timer Amiya has explained her role really well. Usually when they are, uh, 
timer roll or a counter roll, people hesitant to come ahead and to explain their role. But Amya was quite confident in coming up and explaining her role. She even showed the cards on time. And then asked for the timing. She has even come up with the timings. So great job done. No recommendations from my end as of now for the timer. So kudos Amya over there. Now let us go to the Table Topics Master. Table Topics Master, Toastmaster in CI has come up with, she always comes up with very, very innovative topics. It was a great Table Topics session where it was a mix of guests as well as I don't think we had guests today. So it was a mix of all the non-role players as well as role players. And she tried from her end to give chance and opportunity to each and everyone who participated. So it was, I think it was a very energetic, it was a very enthusiastic table topic session. And each and every one of the table topic speakers enjoyed it. So kudos over there. Job well done, uh, Toastmaster in Sia. No recommendations from my end. And now let us come to the table topics, uh, Toastmaster of the day. That is TTM Meenal. TTM Meenal always brings out her flavor in the meetings. And she always comes out with some uh, cookie points or some credits to all the participants in order to encourage them. And she starts the enthusiasm a week ahead, like promoting the meeting or like saying like, please come ahead and participate or whether it's related to quiz. She stuck to the theme of the meeting very authentically. And she even shared us the great facts as well as the quiz was very, very enthusiastic. And even uh, she made sure that the time was on time and bang on time. And uh, she made sure like not even a bit of the meeting was uninterested or was deviated from the topic. So no recommendations from my end. Great job, Toastmaster of the Day, uh, DTM Meena. And when coming to the uh, evaluator, uh, once again, Toastmaster Rohan, I don't know how do you play so many multiple roles. So a big round of applause to Toastmaster Rohan for playing so many multiple roles as an evaluator, as a sergeant at arms, and even giving the presiding officer address. So great job done, leading by an example. And when it comes to your evaluator role, I found the CRC approach was very well intact. And I could agree with most of the suggestions or with most of the recommendations you have given. So no recommendations from my end over here as the CRC approach has been followed. And the recommendations that were given was very useful to the speaker. So great job done to all the role players and a big round of applause for the wonderful meeting. And here I end my report and kudos to each and every one of you. Hope you have a blissful uh, rest of the Sunday. And I hand over the meeting to DTM Meenan for further proceedings. Over to you, DTM Meenan. Thank you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Swati. Now, quick three questions to have three more Parker pins. And don't think that you have answered before, so you don't have a chance. It's a game after all. You can claim it. Now, the next question goes this way. Which movie starring Ritik Roshan had portrayed Kargil War as well? Lakshya. Lakshya. Oh. Lakshya. <laughs> Lakshya. Who answered it first? Nikhil. 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 Okay. Nikhil. Just give me a second. I will mark it. So that next time while giving, I don't get confused. But who was it? <laughs> okay. Now we have two more questions. And those are, which movie released in 1997 portrayed the 1971 Longewala War? Border. Is it border, Meenal? It's a network issue, I think. Um, who answered it? No, I, I answered it border. The I yeah, answered it border. It and was border. Uh, someone also answered another, and another movie name as well. Border, you had answered, right, Swati? Right. Okay. Let me mark this. After this, we have one more question. So, it's the right answer? Yeah, Yeah. border is the right answer. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Thank that you. was actually the history behind that war was that 
the Bangladesh Liberation War was on on the eastern <laughs> part of India. And to divert yes. our attention means to weaken us, Pakistan started attacking us from the western side, from right. the Punjab yes. side and all that. Yes. But we could win that also. And whatever was portrayed in the movie was right, actually. That night vision aircrafts were not available, so they had to uh -huh. fight it all alone. And in the morning, then the Air Force could help after the sunrise. All right. It was that way. Great. Now, this is a bit of scratching question. This is like, our late Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri was impressed with a movie of Manoj Kumar, and that was Shahid. After that, he directed him to make a movie based on the theme Jai Jawan Jai Kisan. What was the name of that movie? Pukar. Pura Pachim. Pukar. Not Pura Pashim. Pura Pashim was made, but that was not the base of that movie, actually. Uh -huh. Jai Jawan Jai Kisan was not the base. Uh, Rohan, what was your answer? Pukar. Not Pukar. You're close, but think, think. Pukar said Anil Kapoor. Yeah, Manoj Kumar was there and then Om, uh, I think. Uh, Pran was also there. Pran was there, right. He was first a farmer and then. He went then he became a defense person. Very I true. I can't recall that uh, name. Like Google it. Yeah, you Google it. No issues. For old movies, we can Google. I can understand. We belong to this generation. Patkar ke sanam. No, no. It said Manoj Kumar, but the theme was not that, in fact. Upkar. Yes. Who answered it? Upkar. Abhishek. Okay. That was great. Abhishek Varma, na? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just one minute. Okay, done it. Okay, that marks the end of the quiz. And as I said, you will be getting this one each. And as many answers as one has given will be getting this. Means one right answer, one pen. It is that way. So we'll, you will be getting this the moment we meet in person. I'll be carrying this in my purse every time. Don't worry about it. The moment I spot someone, I'll give that. <laughs> That's a promise from my side. Thank one, you, Minika. Yeah. One and query now, is... Yeah, query. Tell me. Yeah, is the pen blue or black? Because I'm a college student, I will need uh, to identify if it's blue or black pen. I have also not tested it, actually. I need to check. It's a brand new thing, actually. So if it's I'll a black pen, it, it won't be uh, much use. But yeah, blue, yeah. I'll just do a thing. After our meeting, I'll test it once and I'll put it on the group that it's blue or black. Don't worry okay, about thanks. that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. And now, coming to the end of our theme, that Satyamev Jai, this... Uh, Emblem actually was lifted from Mudaka Upanishad, the very old Upanishads which India, Indian scriptures can boast of. It belongs to that. And based on that, many things came up later. Amir Khan had come up with a series known as Satyameva Jayate. Let's not get into the controversy whether he follows it or not. We know the inside story. Then we also had a movie from that name. And <clears throat> honestly speaking, many other entities later absorbed it. Our uh, existing prime minister also does that with almost, with utmost, I would say, dedication. Whenever it comes to anything religious or whenever it comes to anything of that sort. And let's also pledge that we follow this religiously. Because I'll tell you this time, there were many changes observed. From the moment something like construction of Ram Mandir was to be uh, announced. Even the US government had streamed it live. Can you imagine that? There was a live streaming from the government of US, from the Madison Square. That was the thing. Something like Jama Mila Islamia also uh, announced on a half-day holiday. The second half was announced as a holiday for this occasion. So that shows the spirit of unity, actually. Something that has been brought up at the international level. This is because we are staying true to our roots. Miss, I'll tell you, Miss, I, I'm not a propagator of any sort, any politician or any political party. And even, it's not even allowed to speak about that. But only one thing that we should be following from our Prime Minister, let alone the religious part or the political part, that we are not there to discuss that. The thing is, he respects Indian culture very much. He says that I come from this soil, 
I respect my culture. If I don't, who would respect it? And that is the reason people are listening to him because he is original. That is the reason. Let us also follow that and incorporate that in us. That we will follow good things from others, but at the same time, we will also not leave good things which we have or we have inculcated, we have inherited. That's what we can talk about. So this is, this was it. And that was about today's meeting. Thank you very much for making it interesting because had it not been for your answers to the quiz, it would not have been interesting. That's for sure. These things require a two-way participation, not a one-way participation. So let's keep meeting. And we'll be having our 475th milestone meeting on Rohan, it's 25th of Feb. If I'm not wrong. Yes. Yes, 25th of Feb. Still, let's... we will come back on that uh, once we'll discuss it among us and we will announce the date. Yeah, sure. No issues. We can do that. But let's keep in mind that we have it on coming soon. And let's collectively have a blast regarding that because I'll give you an example. Yesterday, I had been to our parent club, Toastmasters Club of Pune. And the amount of praises that I heard for our club from none other than distinguished Toastmaster Prasad Sovni. He is the past district director and also the founder of Toastmasters in Pune. If we have Toastmasters in Pune, it's because of him. And he praised our club a lot. He said that something that the club has sustained all through, complete. I mean, it consists completely of youngsters and they are all on the josh. The josh is always high. <laughs> so let's maintain that impression regarding our club and let's take it to the newer heights. We'll do everything possible to make our club the best. Be it open house, be it contest, be it the milestone meeting. Let's gear up. Let's do it here. Okay. So with that... I concluded and I pass on the control to Rohan for adjourning the meeting as a president. Yeah. Thank you very much for the wonderful session, for explaining us the importance of emblem and the meaning. How do we get that emblem? Thanks. It was a very interesting session. And a couple of Asa announcement. Uh, Crescendo 125. There will be a Lias bar discount up to 31st of Jan an earlier discount up to 15th of Feb. I urge every one of you to kindly register for this event. We as a club has been qualified for the earliest bird discount and it is 3,125. Yeah. So please take advantage of it. You will get to have a good networking at Goa. Then we have uh, Muhammad, Kuna Muhammad Khatani. Khatani as a, a guest over there. Get to yeah, meet he, him. he is a World, yeah. uh, world champion of public world speaking champion. in uh, 2015. And something to be noted about him is he started as a stutterer actually. He cannot speak properly. But still he went on to become the world champion. Grab it. So for earliest but till 31st Jan, it is 3125. And if you register after 31st Jan, till 15th February, it's 3625. So why simply go for extra 500 rupees if you can do it in 3125. And also it. it's it's open for your friends and family. Exactly. Yeah. So you can it's open for them your also. Your yeah, friends and family also for this Crescendo 125. Yeah. And regarding accommodation, if you need any guidance as well, because the district has rolled out some concessional rates accommodation at the Goan Heritage, wherein our conference is going to happen. If you need that, I, I can share that PPT with you. In fact, I'll share it on our yes, main yes. group. You can group. decide. It's yeah. It's according limits as per the group. If three people stay, then for three days it is this much. For two, it is this much. It is that way. Split up is that way. And one more thing, as a friend, let me also share something. If you think that this is something going overboard or this is something beyond our budget or something, I can suggest you budget accommodations also. Reach out to me. I can help you with that. Not an issue with it. Okay. Yeah. For family, it is uh, three one two five. It is more than. Only Toastmaster it is three one two five. For family it is different. Only no, for, for Toastmaster is three one. Only for Toastmasters it is three one two five. For family it is three six two five. Okay. Anyone means uh, ir irrespective of you register now or later. It is that way. So you can come through. No yeah. problem with that. Because we get the information in prior. Mayur will agree with this. Being district officers. So, whatever information we get regarding Crescendo, we will pass it on to you. Don't worry about that. So, we want a maximum participation from our club. So, that whenever our club gets the prizes on the stage, let there be majority of population carrying the trophy. That's a different uh, 
एक्सपीरियंस ऑल टूगेदर अभिषेक विल बी अग्रिंग विथ मी अभिषेक मयूर लास्ट इयर वी एक्सपीरियंस दैट सो लेट्स हैव इट ओके टुडे वी विल नॉट बी हैविंग अ वोटिंग या या एज इट वाज अ स्पेशल मीटिंग टुडे our milestone meeting will be announced shortly as it is it will be on 25th but still officially we will declare it our bp pr will roll out the posters for that yeah and okay. few initiatives which will, which will be taken by us to increase our membership that also we will communicate for that we will be having an open house and we will communicate how it will be happening it with that yeah. i declare this meeting as adjourned thank you very much and satyam ayo jayate पॉसिबल फॉर यू I don't know right now. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so taking picture. Yes, picture is taken. Thank you so much.